So you might have seen a series called Can It Be a Mead? Today we're asking a little bit of a different question. We're asking, should it be a mead? Let's find out. So I have in front of me right now, 380 unwrapped double bubble chew gum pieces. Now I laboriously yesterday took and unwrapped every single one of them. And um, I am asking the question, should this be a mead? So I had to do some calculations in order to figure out how much sugar is in these things. So you're gonna have to follow my crazy math and then I'll talk about the recipe. So this right here, 380 pieces of gum, there are 7.5 grams of sugar in each one. There are 380 pieces. That totals 2,550 uh, grams of sugar. There are 453.59 grams of sugar in a pound. So you divide that, those two, and you get 5.62 pounds of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. And then um, I had, to, there's another thing. So one pound of sugar in a gallon of water of regular cane sugar generally comes out to about 46 points of gravity, so about 1.046 as a starting gravity. I am gonna use this recipe up here, I think at least. It's gonna be a total of four gallons of water, um, 5.62 pounds of sugar coming from these double bubble chew gum, a about five grams of Lavin QA23, and then I'm gonna make sure and give this thing plenty of nutrient, because I have no idea what the nutritional value of double bubble is, so we're gonna use Fermate. Oh, um, one thing about this, gum obviously has its gum base, um, and I had to do, again, some more research to figure this out. I don't exactly know what the gum base, what the exact thing in the gum base is, but I can tell you that it will not dissolve in water. So what I think is gonna happen here, actually, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm anticipating putting this into the water, boiling all of it, and hopefully getting some of the sugars to come out We'll see. Then whatever's left of the gum base that we assume, we assume will be at the bottom will stay at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling all of this and we're gonna see what happens. This is a giant test. Here we go. Okay, so we have two gallons of water here. The other two will be introduced later. Um, I think I'm gonna try and use them to help cool this. We're gonna go ahead and toss all of this into here and see if it actually melts or what happens. Okay, so I think this is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and fish out what I can of this gum base, and I, want, I don't wanna put it on, it's gonna be sticky, so I'm doing something a little bit sketchy. I'm gonna, how can I do this? All right, so I think I've got the big pieces out, which is this right here. The other ones will just have to uh, come out when this cools. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off of the heat, and we're gonna let it cool. Um, and then we'll take a gravity reading. So I will say the color on this is very interesting, like pink lemonade. And <laughs> the mess it made is terrible. So I'm gonna have to clean this up. I'm gonna let it cool, and then we'll come back and do a gravity reading. All right, so you can't really see, but our gravity after this is uh, got to where it needs to be is 1.070, which I think is perfect. So we're now gonna make sure the rest of it cools down and then we'll add our yeast. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually put this mixture into this wine bottle, put my yeast in, you can see the snow globe effect, and some GoFirm, which is a yeast nutrient, and we're gonna allow this to go ahead and start while the rest of our mead over here is currently cooling down. Um, our bubblegum mead is indeed fermenting. So again, you can't really see from here, but watching the airlock, there's some activity. So it, it is going, we will see how long it takes to ferment. Hopefully it's a quick project, but we'll find out. All right, so this has been going for like 28 days. This is like the hardest mead I've ever tried to ferment. Um, I gave it nutrients. I can't tell if it's fermenting. It's not really been very apparent. Um, it is currently setting at 1.016, 1 
So we started at 1.067. There's a great chance that not everything in here is gonna be able to be fermented on. So there's a likelihood that we end up with, re with residual sweetness. I don't quite wanna chalk this up like it's done fermenting, but I also am curious. There's a lot of stuff at the bottom. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a taste test real fast. Let's, let me just tell you what it tastes like. Again, 28 days, not all the way dry, but maybe it won't go dry. Who knows? Woo! Okay, it's got a weird body. A little chewy. Definitely still sweet, has some sweetness. It um, reminds me of when you're a kid and you go to the dentist and they clean your teeth and then at the end they do like a fluoride rinse or something like that to polish your teeth. And they say, uh, do you want mint or do you want bubble gum? It tastes like the bubble gum rinse or the bubble gum polish that you get there. Yeah, that's odd. Woo, okay. Um, what the heck? Uh, <laughs> I just feel like it's done. I feel like it's, it's finished. It's been, again, almost a month. Theoretically, this is done-ish. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this. This is a two, this is almost a three gallon uh, container. I'm gonna go ahead, I don't have a um, just a two gallon fermenter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move this into two one gallon containers. And then we'll see if it does anything more, but maybe it'll clear up. I don't know. Let's Let's move it real fast. Okay, I lied. I'm actually gonna put this into this one gallon, or excuse me, two gallon bucket, not to age, but to sit for a little while longer. When it comes to time, we'll probably go ahead and uh, move it into glass carboys, or chunk it, <laughs> or keep it, depending on how good it is. So uh, what I might do is I'll let this sit for a little while longer. to the first episode of Should It Be a Mead, um, I'll go ahead and explain to you what happened here. I decided, based off of my Can It Be a Mead series, that there's a flip called Should It Be a Mead, where you take something that arguably shouldn't be a mead and you make it. This is the double bubble mead. Oh. This is 380 pieces of bubble gum, double bubble gum, uh, melted down into water with couple pounds of honey and uh, fermented back sweetened with a little more honey um, I'm gonna leave it at that because it this is relatively young is it not? Is, it's about a month and a half old oh okay still very young <laughs> so I would love to know what you think oh what boy. is it what does it smell like what you got what's your what's your vibe I was smelling bubble gum from here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it smelled yeah, like bubble no gum. Joke. That's it, unmistakable. Yeah. Reminded me of a saison I fermented too hot. <laughs> got that yeah. bubble gum that yeah. you don't really want. I ruined about a five gallon pot for this video. So, <laughs> oh, wow. It, I'll tell you that the bubble gum did not um, come off the pot easily. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Yeah, it smells like bubble gum and maybe a little bit rubbery in t to some extent. Like there's like a rubber quality, uh -huh. eraser maybe, yeah. quality. That's the That's what you get when you're ready yeah. to melt bubblegum, maybe? But, maybe so. Yeah, definitely, I mean, yeah. I think I could have picked out I'm not super one. stoked on this. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not excited to try this. And there is that uh, fermented the honey character there too, which I get, but it is I don't get it as hot, I don't get it um, a lot. I get a lot of double bubble. It's like yeah. I stuck two double bubble pieces in my nose. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Well, let's taste it. Okay. Let's decide. Should this should this be a mead? Does Does Amaretti make a bubble gum extract? I'm getting contact. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I'm just, just curious if there's like an alternative. Wait. So if I drink this, will it stay in my stomach for seven years? <laughs> <laughs> One can only hope. I mean. Wow. I don't know that I. 
I said the cucumber. Did you like taste the it? The only thing I want to eat. Taste it so we can I, talk. I have a real. <laughs> Just taste it. <laughs> I'm honestly blown away. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It just it, straight tastes like bubble gum. It this really is, does. And it's not hot, it's which delicious. is weird. <laughs> This is not What's delicious. the ABV on it? No, but it just tastes like bubble gum. Um, we're at like six and a half. Huh? Okay. okay, okay. I mean, yeah, you just made bubble gum alcohol. <laughs> I mean, it's it, much better in the flavor than this smell. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Was, it, was, it was not smell. The a little good, off. But it, so beyond just the, the bubble gum, maybe it's the, the power suggestion, but I'm getting a little more of that, like the same phenolic that I would think of in a Belgian mm-hmm. ferment, right? That. That almost clovey, something spicy, but it's not on the palate. The palate is just straight bubble gum, right? Mm-hmm. Sweet and There's bubble gummy honey. and a little yeah. honey too. Yeah. Okay, not a hundred percent, but it's <laughs> no, 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 no. bubble but gum. Yeah, but there, is it back sweetened? I'm all, picking up honey for back sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's yeah, because there's definitely some honey. It's but probably it from is, the back sweetening. I mean, I'm definitely picking up that rubbery thing though too. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely the, the way like the mouth feel of it. You can like you get the taste or the feeling of like. Post chewing double bubble gum, mm-hmm. that kind of yeah. dries out your mouth. I feel like it almost takes you back to grade school. Like you're you're chewing on some bubble gum and you're you're erasing something. <laughs> with the side of the pencil. Like you're getting those eraser fumes and the bubble gum. So this is what this reminds me of. Like when you're a kid, you go to the dentist and they finish cleaning your teeth, and then yes. you're like, do you want the the bubble gum uh, fluoride, fluoride. Rinse? Or, yeah. or do you want the yeah great <laughs> which or is bent or whatever? And you're like bubble gum. Yeah. <laughs> is, no. Yeah. That's... There's your next episode. Should great fluoride rinse be a meme? <laughs> <laughs> next, I'm just fermenting like mouthwash. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So are we supposed to decide whether this or I, you should know, or should not? Be I made? I think uh, at the end of the day, we got to make a choice. Should should just did, be. Did you finish yours off? Should yeah. just be a mead. The more th- this gets worse, the longer it opens up. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like you you shorted yourself by not really giving this some time. Well, there's more. <laughs> yeah, I got I got a whole wine bottle worth. Don't worry. I will try some more. The I- longer it opens up and aerates, the more of those rubbery, for lack of a better, yeah. like chalky rubbery things come out in the mid palate. Mm-hmm. So it's like bubble gum, chalk rubber erasers yeah. and then on the exhale you get those honey notes it's so like it's like that punctuation mark in the middle of your palate is like Ugh. okay but on the flip side let's just play devil's advocate just for a second <laughs> it's like if there's if something could be awesome if you did something to it what could be different and the way i the way i view this is maybe it's too much bubble gum, and that's why it's so overwhelming and so overpowering, and it gives off all those flavors. But like, honestly, there's something like interestingly sweet about it, and um, it makes me want to try a variation of it with less bubble gum. Mm. So the question, though, is should it be? <laughs> Oh, and we'll take a vote. We'll, we'll go down in a second. Well, you can take your vote. We can cast your vote. What kind and then, of I, I just want to. I want to. I've actually eaten with uh, actually blueberry. I want to pivot that. though in, in in going down Jake's line of thought. That could you take a saison yeast and push it into crazy bubblegum territory and achieve those flavors without the sacrilege mm. that has been performed <laughs> in here. <laughs> Like, could you get bubblegum notes in a natural way rather... I mean, you all have seen the process. Now, I've seen pictures because you texted it to me, and it's disgusting what this guy did. It is pretty bad. <laughs> it's not adorable. And maybe I'm tainted by having seen the yeah. photos of that, but should it be... It should should double bubble be a mead, I think is the question. That's the, that's the base question. Not... Not should bubblegum mead be a thing. Listen, this series is going to go as as far as I want it, so I'm going to make whatever the heck I want. And some things might work, some things might not. Well, I, I just want to know your opinion. Sure mead at some point. Okay, let's do it. I'm still waiting <laughs> on that liquid liquid smoke. <laughs> yeah, got to get that in there too. Oh my god. So are we gonna, are, is the answer yes or no from each of us? Yeah, let's take it up. BC, should this be a mead? Should this be a mead? Should this bubblegum? No. This shouldn't be a mead. Okay. No. Double bubble gets a double thumbs up from me. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Jake? I'm saying in a different quantity, yes. No. 
<laughs> I, I, I think the uh, uh, majority is no. Uh, but I challenge anyone who wants to make this to make exception. it. I, you know, Jake <laughs> seems like he's going to go ahead and make this at some point, and, and why not? I mean, give it a shot. You can decide for yourself. But uh, I think the the answer is there. Should this be a mead? Probably not. <laughs> what, was it a mead? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, there'll be more episodes of this I, with now just more outrageous things. Before. Thanks yeah. for watching. Thank you guys for helping out with the tasting. Yeah. Thanks. Yay! See you next time. Woo. Yeah. The more yeah. it opens up, it the just more those dentist tastes like right now. <laughs> like if you have any, like, but it's not bad though. Like it's. It is. Is.